Yep. Okay, we're going to get started with questions. We'll begin with Joe Bettner with the Norman transcript and then go to Bob Presbillo. Hey, Sean, can you take us kind of through what uh, happened kind of there late in the third quarter? You guys are up 35 14. Just uh, with them, just I'm, I'm curious just what, what, what changed with you all kind of late in that game? Um, I would boil it down to our mindset. I think um, I think we were prepared to come in the game and play hard, but I don't think we were prepared to come in the game and play hard for four quarters. You know, and so uh, we obviously came out swinging pretty hard, had a really good first half, and I feel like um, a lot of us might have checked the box. You know, like we we played good, you know, but we didn't play good. Obviously, in the entire game, we got really lax in that third quarter, and it it came and bite us in the tail. Go to Bob Prisbillo with Sooner Scoop and then Ryan Aber. Deshaun, we heard a lot last year about takeaways equal victory, mm -hmm. and now you've got to see it once again this this last weekend. Is there something or a different way that you can emphasize it in practice that you think maybe might make it translate better when you get to Saturdays? Um, I think that's another thing that is really mentality based. Um, something that's obviously a problem with the way that we were thinking, you know, going into the game. I think it's, um, you know, every play that you're at the ball, like you have to be thinking about the ball, you know, you gotta be thinking about the ball, thinking about getting the ball out. It's gotta be something for the offense to where like the running back's running the ball and he's thinking about free snap. Like I need to make sure I take care of the ball, you know, and that's one more thing that he has to think about going on to the play. And I think that that's something, or that's a spot where we really have to grow as a team. Um, I think that we've had, a lot better emphasis on it just in practice and stuff like that. But I think it's it's really a, men a mentality thing. Like, like I'm going to take the ball from you rather than, you know, just being thrown, you know, in certain situations you get thrown the ball. Like, I'm going to take it. So I think, I think it's a real mentality thing. Ryan Aber with the Oklahoman and then Eric Bailey. Yeah, Deshaun, you talked about uh, playing hard but not playing hard for four quarters. Um, you all have had a, a, a few of these situations the last couple of years. How hard is it to, to get things back once things start uh, breaking against you all and, and things start breaking down? And, mm -hmm. and how do you all fix that? Yeah, well, <laughs> football is a really hard game. So I would say it's, it's up there. It's, it's pretty hard. But it's one of those things like we just got to really set in uh, or really – yeah, set in, uh, set our teeth and like swing back. I think that that's somewhere where, again, we have to grow as a team. We have to grow as being in a situation where we've been punched in the mouth and been able to punch back. But I think we're really good at initially throwing a punch. And I think that we showed last year and we showed a little bit that we can, you know, punch back. But I think it's one of those things where we just got to continue to grow, you know, and just who we are as a team and how, um, just the things that we allow, you know, I think that's a, it, it's mostly around just how we respond to things. And I think that that's, you know, that's where the problem is. Appreciate it, Deshaun. Okay, Eric Bailey with the Tulsa World and then Jason Kersey. Hey, Deshaun, I'm working on a story on Buki. I was just gonna ask you just his growth over the past few years. What have you seen out of him and what what is his potential? Uh, man, sky's the limit for Buki. I mean, that makes me think back to like Army game when we really just, you know, hung out for that week. Um, we're just talking about all these things that we had planned for being here and stuff like this. And like we always look at each other in practice, we're like, who would have even imagined that we'd be in this situation, you know? And it's just, I mean, it's, it's a really cool thing to see. And then just his maturity over the years and how much more uh, serious he takes the game and his uh, technique and stuff like that. I mean, it's just like, I can't wait. Every, I know that when I'm on the field with him, like it's, I feel good about everyone, but it's like 44. Like, I know he's going to take care of his stuff. I know he's going to be on top of it. I know his mind's in the right place where it's like, if I'm in the right place, he's going to get a takeaway, you know, that sort of thing. So, I mean, I couldn't say enough good things about Buki, you know. Thanks so much, Deshaun. Appreciate it. Okay, Jason Kersey with The Athletic and then John Hoover. Hey, Deshaun, are, are you comfortable right now with, with the linebacker depth you, you guys have? Uh, yes. Very comfortable. I think that um, since the beginning of the year, like we've felt really good about our room. We've even got young guys who continue to grow and who continue to show a lot of things, you know. So I think we can play a lot of people. Thanks. 
John Hoover with SI Sooners, and then Brandon Drum. Hey, Deshaun. Um, I noticed uh, you go back to last year, and, and one of the weaknesses, I think, from the previous year's team was that you guys always got lined up, right? Got the call in, checked your wristbands, and everybody knew what the call was. It looked like some of that might have cropped up again on Saturday against Kansas State, where guys were looking at their wristband like right before the snap, and mm -hmm. linebackers were moving defensive linemen as the snap was unfolding. Was there some communication problems, or what, has the the scheme maybe gotten a little bit harder, more complex, or how would you how would you kind of sum that up? Um, scheme hasn't changed. You know, uh, it's the same as it was the day we got here, um, or the day Grinch got here. But um, definitely a communication thing. You know, and that starts with me. You know, I'm the alpha dog. Everybody's looking at me. Everyone's listening to me. So I have to be better in that situation. All right. Thank you. Okay, Brandon Drum and then James Hale. You, you kind of touched on it earlier about not playing or going all the way through for all four quarters. Uh, Jeremiah mm -hmm. Hall yesterday said that he felt like the team in general got complacent. Mm -hmm. Did you get that feeling kind of in the third quarter that there was a complacency when y'all came back out on the field in the second half? Um, honestly, I never had that feeling until, yeah, until really it was too late, you know, to be quite honest with you. It was one of those things where um, I felt like, I felt like our mindset was right, you know, going into every series. I felt like we had, you know, the right mindset to get a stop, to do things. And I, I just felt like there was a few little, there were little things, you know, little detailed things that ended up biting us in the tail, you know, making a tackle or just fitting this right, you know, it was just little things. So we got to be better. Does that, does that, those little things, does it, as far as mentality and uh, the mindset, does that start to wear on you all sometimes when they, they start to tumble? I feel like, it does, you know, and that's why, that's why I say football is is a lot harder than you know people give it credit for. Appreciate it, Sean. James Hale with KREF, and then Kerry Murdoch. Hey, Deshaun, how you doing? Um, how are you? You guys have been in dogfights with Iowa State since you've been here. Uh, you know, they they got a great tailback. Their quarterback's, you know, really talented. Talk about their offensive team and how big of a challenge is this going to be for you guys on Saturday night to hold this team in check? Um, it's going to be a big challenge for sure, especially coming from, you know, last week and just the way things went. But I think that um, our mindset, you know, that's been a really big thing. I think our mindset going into this week and just our preparation even in the past two, three days has been really, really good. Um, feeling really good about uh, how we line up with them. You know, obviously they've got a really – a really talented offense. Uh, a quarterback likes to, you know, wiggle around a little bit. But um, I think, you know, I find confidence in, you know, just resetting and doing what we do um, game in and game out. Thanks, Deshaun. Yep. Hey, Kerry Murdoch with Sooner Scoot and WWLS, and then Keegan Renault. Hey, Deshaun. Um, you know, I know Brian Mee's done a lot for your team, been a walk on or a scholarship. Is it? I don't know how much you get into this, but is it tough seeing him kind of take a lot of criticism for that one play when, you know, your defense just had a rough day? It seems like he's kind of become a, a poster boy for criticism a little bit. Um, it is, you know, but it's one of those things. Uh, he's, you know, he's had the right mindset about it. He's attacked it the right way. Um, he probably, I won't say he hasn't seen any of it or anything like that, but it, it hasn't affected him much. You know, he's came in with the same attitude, ready to attack, you know, ready to lead. You know, all the things that we need for this team, he still came in with Monday morning. So I think that um, regardless of critics or anything like that, um, we appreciate who he is more than anything uh, day in and day out. Thanks, Deshaun. Okay, Keegan Renell. Sean, how, how do you weigh the positives and negatives from Saturday? Because, you know, Alex has talked about in Lincoln as well as there's been, you know, mm -hmm. four or five plays that were really bad, but the rest yeah. of the game was really good. How, how do you weigh that from a psychological perspective and then also watching the film? Yeah. Um, I mean, watching the film is <laughs> – it hurts a little bit because it is, it is four to five plays. It really is. But I think that, um, you know, it was important – it's important for us as a team to know to look at majority of the game when we played – really elite ball against a really good team, you know, um, a team that really couldn't move the ball very well without those few plays, a team that was, you know, our offense was moving the ball really well. I think that we, we really need to take um, that just as much as we take the bad things and learn from both because um, although we might not feel that good right now because we lost, you know, and that's the result thing, 
I think that it's important for us to learn from uh, the bad plays just as much as the good ones. So.